Did you know that every single cell in your body is a tiny factory inside these microscopic factories? An incredibly complex process is happening right now. Protein synthesis. It's how your body builds the proteins needed for everything from muscle growth to immune defense. But here's the fascinating part. Protein synthesis is happening in two main stages, transcription and translation. In the blink of an eye, your DNA is turned into messenger RNA, which travels to ribosomes, where it's translated into a chain of amino acids that fold into functional proteins. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating processes, protein synthesis. By the end of this video, you'll understand what protein synthesis is, the two main stages, transcription and translation, and why it's crucial for life. Let me tell you first, what is protein synthesis? Protein synthesis is the process by which your cells make proteins. Do you know that proteins are vital? They build and repair tissues like muscles, form enzymes that speed up chemical reactions, help your immune system with antibodies, transport molecules like oxygen through your blood. In short, proteins are the workers of your body and protein synthesis is their training ground. Protein synthesis occurs in two steps. Number one, transcription. Number two, translation. The blueprint, DNA and RNA. Before we dive into the steps, let's review the key players in protein synthesis so that you can easily understand protein synthesis. Number one, DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid, the blueprint of life. It contains the instructions for making proteins. Number two, RNA, which is ribonucleic acid, the messenger that carries DNA's instructions to the cell's protein making machinery. RNA is of three types, which are listed below. mRNA, which is messenger RNA. It carries the instructions from DNA. tRNA, which is transfer RNA. It brings the building blocks, such as amino acids, to the protein making site. RNA, which is ribosomal RNA. It forms part of the ribosome where proteins are assembled. Now let's break it down step by step. Step 1. Transcription. From DNA to RNA, transcription is the first step of protein synthesis. It happens in the nucleus of the cell. How it works? Unwinding DNA. An enzyme called RNA polymerase unzips a section of DNA, exposing the genetic code. Building mRNA, RNA polymerase uses one strand of DNA as a template to create a complementary strand of mRNA. Think of it as copying a recipe from a cookbook onto a notepad. Editing mRNA. The newly formed mRNA goes through a process called splicing, where unnecessary parts introns are removed and the useful parts exons are stitched together. Step 2. Translation from RNA to protein. Once the mRNA leaves the nucleus, it travels to a ribosome which can be thought of as the cell's protein factory. This is where translation occurs. Now let me tell you how it works. mRNA attaches to the ribosome. The ribosome reads the mRNA code in groups of three bases called codons. tRNA brings amino acids. Each codon corresponds to a specific amino acid. The tRNA molecule carrying an amino acid pairs its anticodon with the mRNA codon. Linking amino acids, the ribosome links the amino acids together in a chain, forming a polypeptide. Once complete, this chain folds into a functional protein. Key players in translation 1. Start codon. Translation begins with a codon called AUG, which codes for the amino acid. 
methionine stop codons the process ends when the ribosome encounters a stop codon like uaa uag or uga and that's the story of protein synthesis to recap is the process of creating proteins from dna structures it has two main stages transcription which is dna to rna and translation which is rna to protein it's essential for life from healing wounds to growing hair question of the day what is the process of copying dna into rna called only a genius can answer in the comments below if you would like to watch my other lectures on topics like the lungs kidneys liver brain and eyes visit my channel to view my other videos